Yeah, I'm uh, Dr. Ian McGuinness. I'm the first national team doctor and the medical director of Qatar National Teams. Uh, I've been here since June 2013, five and a half years. Um, prior to that, I worked in the English Premier League and in Scotland uh, for 20 years. Yeah, well, the, the medical team that supports the Qatar national football teams is constantly changing and evolving as we continue to strive for excellence in all aspects of care. Um, recently, there's been a restructure in Aspitar uh, under the direction of Mr. Riyad Maladi. And the, the concept of the Qatar national medical team is that we're all very much the one team. We have first team, the under 23s, the under 19s and the under 17s. But we're all the one team continuing to support the players to maximize their, their potential and their performance. I mean, I think it's important to say, even in my five and a half years in Aspitar, that things have progressed rapidly in Aspitar generally. Um, we're never standing still. We're constantly striving for excellence. Things have changed greatly in that period. And we've seen a whole host of athletes, not only from the national team, but from around the world coming, coming to Aspitar. And in my time, you know, led by Matt Wilson and research, led by uh, Mr. Riyad and Rod Whiteley and Jalal in rehabilitation, surgery with uh, Dr. Landro, Dr. Peter, things have changed and progressed uh, fantastically well. And the players are very well supported by Aspitar during this time. Lots of them are coming on a daily basis for investigations for treatment, sometimes for surgery. Um, and of course, the screening is a big part of that, where what we try to do is identify any potential weaknesses or deficiencies within the players so that we can address these and hopefully going forward, prevent any significant injury complications. Um, at the first team level and within the other teams, we take this information from the screening in Aspitar and then we apply it to a, a functional assessment again with uh, Dr. Alberto and myself and we try to devise individual prevention and um, pre-competition uh, programs for the players to follow so we ensure when the competition starts, they're ready to deliver their maximum. I think it's important to remember in the, in the medical department that the, the job is never finished and it's constantly uh, a challenge. Um, I think I always tell the staff never to get too high when we win and never get too low when we lose because our job primarily is, is to support the players and even after the game, of course, we had one or two high profile problems with players and our focus, of course, we were happy and we were celebrating the success for the team and for the country. But our focus was on, on making sure these injured players were OK. And this preparation is, is a constant, a constant process. Um, we started the training camp on the 7th of December for this tournament. So by the time we reached the final, it was 56 days in total, continuous. Now the players in that time had one or two free days, not too many. But of course, the medical staff um, are working every day because there are always uh, challenges to overcome with uh, injured players. Um, prior to that, Aspitar has obviously been involved a great deal with the players because they are annually screened here uh, for their pre-competition assessment for both the Qatar Stars League and for the national team. And the players, when they're injured, of course, they also attend Aspitar and there's lots of interactions with the various departments, including the, the surgeons, the radiology department, the fitness and performance and uh, with outpatients. Um, in general, the whole Aspire Zone should take great credit for this, led at first team level by Alberto, the head of fitness, who along with myself, we've had fantastic collaboration to ensure that the players, as much as we, we possibly can, 
um, were able to maximise their performance, remain as much as, as possible injury free and ready to play. And at the end of the day, that's, that's all we can hope for. The rest is down to Coach Felix and to the players. Well, well Aspital for all staff is a, a fantastic vehicle. It's a fantastic institute to, for everyone to be learning and to maximising their knowledge on a daily basis. But the staff must be self-driven to constantly, constantly learn, constantly improve, constantly challenge themselves. This is, this is the task. We can take credit and everyone, everyone deserves credit. Everyone within the organisation deserves credit. But our role is, is to serve the players and ultimately to assist the coach. Between now and 2022, the things are going to go very fast and there, there's big spotlight on, on the national team, on Aspire and on Aspita. And on a daily basis, we must continue to challenge ourselves to, to improve.